Welcome back to the Neurology Channel, your go-to source for all things related to the world of neurology and brain health. Today, we have an important topic to discuss. What is amitriptyline, also known as Elevillar? If you or someone you know is dealing with neurological issues or chronic pain, you'll want to stick around for this one. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Amitriptyline, sold under the brand name Elevil R, is a medication that belongs to a class of drugs known as tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs. Now, you might be wondering why we're discussing an antidepressant on a neurology channel. Well, amitriptyline has a wide range of applications in neurology beyond its use for depression. Let's explore them. Amitriptyline is prescribed for various neurological conditions, and here are a few of them. Chronic pain management. One of the most common uses of amitriptyline in neurology is for managing chronic pain conditions like neuropathy, migraines, and fibromyalgia. It can help by altering the perception of pain signals in the brain. Sleep disorders. Amitriptyline can be used to treat certain sleep disorders, such as insomnia, by promoting better sleep quality. Migraine prevention. It's also a go-to choice for migraine prevention, reducing the frequency and intensity of migraine attacks. Depression and anxiety. Of course, it's primarily known as an antidepressant and is used to treat various mood disorders, which often have neurological components. Now, let's briefly discuss how amitriptyline works within the nervous system. It primarily increases the levels of neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. This helps regulate mood and can have a pain-relieving effect by dampening pain signals. How amitriptyline works within your nervous system. Imagine your nervous system as a complex network of communication lines in your body. These communication lines are made up of special chemicals called neurotransmitters. Two important neurotransmitters we're going to focus on are serotonin and norepinephrine. Serotonin is like your brain's feel-good messenger. It helps regulate your mood and emotions. When you have enough serotonin in your brain, you tend to feel happier and more balanced. Norepinephrine, on the other hand, is a bit like your body's alertness hormone. It's involved in keeping you awake, attentive, and focused. Now here's where amitriptyline comes into play. Amitriptyline, the medication your doctor prescribed, helps by doing two important things. One, increasing serotonin levels. Amitriptyline boosts the levels of serotonin in your brain. This is like giving your mood a little lift. When there's more serotonin around, you might find it easier to manage feelings of sadness or anxiety. Two, boosting norepinephrine. Amitriptyline also helps increase the levels of norepinephrine. This can make you feel more alert and less tired during the day. But there's another really interesting thing amitriptyline does, especially when it comes to pain. Pain relief. Amitriptyline has a superpower in the world of pain management. It can actually dampen or reduce pain signals in your brain. You see, when you're in pain, there are signals traveling through those communication lines we talked about earlier, telling your brain that something hurts. Amitriptyline can help turn down the volume on those pain signals, making you feel more comfortable. So in a nutshell, amitriptyline is like a helpful messenger in your brain, making sure your mood is stable, you're awake and alert, and it's even there to ease your pain when you need it. Remember, though, this medication needs to be taken as directed by your healthcare provider, and it might take some time to start working. Don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Always keep an open line of communication with your healthcare team, and they'll guide you through the process. If you have any questions or concerns about how amitriptyline is working for you, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. They're there to help you on your journey to better brain health and well-being. Before considering amitriptyline, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional who can determine the right dosage for your specific condition. The dosage can vary widely depending on the condition being treated. Amitriptyline, like any medication, may have side effects. Some common side effects include drowsiness, dry mouth, constipation, and weight gain. However, it's important to note that not everyone will experience these side effects, and they often become less severe over time. There are a few important precautions and warnings when it comes to amitriptyline. Inform your healthcare provider of any other medications you're taking to avoid potential drug interactions. Be cautious if you have a history of heart problems, as TCAs can affect heart rhythm. Do not abruptly stop taking amitriptyline. It should be tapered off under medical supervision to prevent withdrawal symptoms. In conclusion, amitriptyline, or Elevillar, is a versatile medication used in neurology for various conditions, 
including chronic pain, sleep disorders, migraines, and mood disorders. However, it should only be used under the guidance of a qualified healthcare professional who can assess its suitability for your specific needs and monitor your progress. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only, and you should always consult your healthcare provider before starting or discontinuing any medication. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might benefit from this information, and subscribe for more updates from the Neurology Channel. Thank you for watching and take care of your brain health.